It's important for us because the Momentum Club Cricket Championships provides a higher level of playing exposure to our club cricketers. It is ultimately the pinnacle for any club cricketer on the club cricket calendar. That's why we support clubs coming here by providing them support to the sponsorship of Momentum. And without a participle of Momentum, we can't actually host the a prestigious event like the Momentum National Club Championships. The Momentum National Club Champs is a very important tournament to us uh, because as Momentum we believe in investing to up-and-coming uh, talent and also making sure that we're there on their journey to success and uh, this also gives us a pipeline for cricketers to also you know uh, be able to play the cricket on various levels. It feels really amazing. It's been a long season, it's been a long week here at Club Champs playing 50 over cricket for the past five days but it was all worth it. You know, the body is a bit sore, but we're really enjoying it. So we're looking forward to tonight as well. It's the first time in 17 years that a team from Cape Town, or the Western Province, has, has won the tournament. And it's also a while, apparently, more than 10 years since a non-university side won the tournament. So it's, it's a really big achievement for our families, for our community, you know, for our club. And uh, you know, to get the exposure at a national level and play some really good cricket against good teams is, is quite incredible as well. So we've had a really good couple of seasons. We've won the Community T20 Cup as well, the um, National T20 Cup. So we, we're really onto something quite good. Yeah, definitely we'll take a lot of boxes where you know, we were looking into and a uh, few things still we need to work on as a club as well. And definitely we go back and work on it. Definitely we're coming back for it. You know. It's been a privilege to come here. So momentum, you know, everything above board come, and you know, it was a fantastic week. We had a brilliant tournament, you know, and to be here in club champs is, you know, it's uh, absolutely great to be here. Very happy for Durbanville Cricket Club as a community club. I think it's it's very rare that a, a proper club side wins club champs. Um, I don't think that happens a lot. So I'm just very glad for the players and the coaching staff and and the whole community of Dur Durbanville and um, the Cape Cobras franchise as a whole that we could uh, pull off this this win this um, this week. Well, obviously, it's a massive privilege for us to do it. It's been a couple of years since we've been here. Sides from the Northern Cape and the Knights was the club champs last year. So, no, it's been a massive privilege. Great learning curve for a pretty young side. We had to leave some of our senior pros, unfortunately, in bloom. Guys like Reynolds von Tonda and Cornet Dry are currently playing with the Knights. Sean Whitehead due to exams and so forth, but a great learning experience and, a, and an awesome week with great cricket. The standard has been amazing, you know, to see uh, so many club players in South Africa and the standard it's being played at. Obviously also great to learn from some of the pros like Pete Malan and Mutasami and those guys that's here. Accommodation, five-star hotel in Menland, Maine. I mean, what more can you ask for? So what an experience for a coach and for the side. From the club's point of view in the Premier League, we had an exceptional season and we were very uh, blessed to be here. Uh, we didn't get the results we wanted, but uh, we learned a lot and we're a young team. Most of our guys have, have never played at this level, so yeah, no, it's been a good week. The week's been, uh, it's been a level up, obviously, coming from our league, uh, Nelson Mandela uh, Bay. Um, it's been an a up and down week for us. Um, it's been a good learning experience. Um, I'm really actually chuffed to be here and it's been a good, very good um, tournament here. Yeah. I think it gives, it gives a glimpse of hope to most of the players. Living in the capital, five-star hotel, I mean, it's quite special. Every year we come to this tournament and you're just getting spoiled. And it's really, it really just, I think, it, like I said, it opens up many eyes. And it just gives you a bit of taste what the professionals are, are experiencing, which really, it's, it's such a good feeling for us. We still really appreciate this whole setup and the whole system because ultimately, no matter where you play, even if you're playing for the professional, even if you're playing for the pro tiers or whatever, I think it's still staying humble and just appreciating everything because people are putting in so much work and so much money and I think it's really, it's really a good initiative and it should keep going for a long time. Club cricket is still very relevant in our country. It's still re very relevant for the pipeline of, of cricket. And it's great to have a week like this. Um, I want to also, in the, at that note, thank Momentum. They've been very, very loyal partners to, to amateur cricket, not just school cricket, but also provincial and, and uh, national cricket. 
and their involvement in club cricket has made this possible. For Momentum, it's quite a privilege for us, I mean, to be a partner in cricket, from grassroots uh, development space all the way to the senior teams. And uh, I think we all know that uh, everyone is born with Momentum. And for us, it's also part of telling the story in terms of uh, how people embark on this journey to success and making sure that cricket is the unifying factor whereby everyone from family, friends and everybody in the communities gather around in, in, in terms of watching a wonderful game of cricket. So for Momentum, this is a very great platform for us as a brand in making sure that we have our finger on the pulse of our communities. It's always nice to get an award like that. I'm just glad this time I got it and not one of my brothers. I'm sure most of the guys out there would say I'm probably the, the third best Milan, but um, at the end of the day, I'm just glad it went um, my, my way this week. There are lots of celebrating tonight and uh, next few days, hopefully. But uh, we're going to the off-season now, so a lot of rest, and then we do group in a couple of months' time, I guess. And uh, start afresh, we're going to have a few new faces, a uh, lot of old faces as well. We're going to miss one or two players that are finishing off now. So it's just rebuilding, and hopefully we'll be standing here again next year.